Yeah, it's great to be here uh, in person. It's true that this talk was supposed to happen, I think, many times <laughs> um, during this, this, the, 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 the process of this project. And uh, it's been really great to, uh, to every time come back here <laughs> to, you know, to Washington to see this uh, very uh, special project for me, obviously, that uh, I'm going to try to go through uh, this 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 little talk um, slide three here we go so yeah I'm I'm gonna go basically like the idea of this convers this talk is to um, oops sorry, this is like not it's to um, basically like trying to um, explain the process of that very particular project that uh, you know it's kind of a bit of a once in a lifetime um, opportunity and challenge. So when they first called me to, to, to kind of ask me to do that project, uh, uh, I mean, I have to say that I'm always very excited about doing a lot of things, so I'm, I obviously said, of course. And it's, it's kind of afterwards, a few weeks after, or well, maybe a month or two months that I realized there was actually a, a very big challenge that uh, it took me a very long time to figure it out. So maybe I'm, I'm kind of going to try to kind of go through it. So basically, as you probably all know, like the, 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 the problem was that they had to redo this, changing those tiles that, um, that uh, they were basically falling apart. So for the building to stay up, or like the, at least the surface, they had to change it. So they had to build this gigantic scaffolding and in the last like decade or so, like companies have been providing a uh, screen to hide the, 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 the scaffolding. So th that was basically the commission. But of course, it's in the mall and it's extremely big and visible. So quickly, I, I, it started to kind of haunt me like what I could do that could suit, you know, that a space that is so charged in terms of uh, context, meaning, and, and, and so on. So let's see what was the next. Who is that? Oh, here we go. Maybe I just did. So maybe as as a as a first as a background, I just like put a few slides of uh, of previous work that was in a way uh, taking basically the panoramic kind of uh, formats. And actually, this one is kind of an important one because uh, it's also a very large scale kind of mural, and it was kind of outside, very different because it was literally kind of in the uh, kind of suburb or like kind of like the yeah like the, the bad part of Glasgow, <laughs> let's put it that way. So there was not, there was actually no kind of, uh, kind of really kind of real challenge in terms of the audience. There was really not that many people that were actually like kind of passing right by, even if it looks like it. But uh, the idea was more like to create a very clear contrast between the gray and pretty kind of uh, haunting kind of neighborhood and just create a very kind of uh, colorful landscape. But I'm showing that slide to just kind of the idea of like how to react to an outside and very public uh, in, in environment. Uh, maybe the next slide is, let's, let's keep. So that is uh, another panorama that I did in, uh, in Dallas at the museum, which was a very, very long corridor and they were painted on, on both sides. But again, that was also like using a very, very long Actually, while I was preparing this talk, I realized that I did a few of those <laughs> very long panorama. Uh, and so that you, I reused also the, the theme of, the, uh, of the, the trees and the landscape, plus I ended that past that we don't see very well with those two uh, people with a, with a hat. And the next slide is uh, me painting at the Hirshhorn Museum. <laughs> so Melissa was like talking that in, uh, in 2017, um, uh, I was I was invited to to do a show in those great outside circle that is also a panorama uh, type situation that Mark used very smartly in his in, in a greatly in his in his project that is up there now, uh, and I decided to paint basically this series of sunset and sunrise uh, as a maybe if you go to the next slide. You can see a little bit of, and I was, yeah, I was there for three weeks, and it was my first time in Washington, so there was also maybe a way to uh, stay here to, <laughs> for a long time to paint uh, in, inside the museum. And it was really like a fantastic experience to be in those rooms 
for almost a month uh, just painting there my sunset and sunrise. It was literally, I think, like a few months after the, the election, uh, one of them. <laughs> and so there was a little bit of uh, tension in the air. Uh, and uh, I just, uh, there was like a quote that I just found it very poetic that Obama said the, the day before the, the, uh, the, uh, the election, he said like, oh, no matter what's gonna happen tomorrow, we know that the sun will, will rise. As a, it's a simple thing to say, but it was also like, just a, an idea of maybe thinking about time and the change and the rhythm of life in a, in a longer way and just not being completely like, basically in, enslaved or like being kind of like stressed by the, the actual day. Uh, and there was like a little bit of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of an idea of reflecting time and change and how like uh, to sing in it maybe in a, in a more like broader or poetic way. And obviously the sunset and the sunrise uh, was, was, was this. And also the fact that all the paints that I was done will be removed and they were very ephemeral was pointing out that the idea of whatever also appears to be permanence is, you know, doomed to <laughs> disappear at some point. Uh, sometimes sadly or sometimes hopefully. Uh, but uh, so next slide is we going to, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that found is like a, a, a picture of the, uh, of the, of the model of the um, Urshon. So yeah, basically like all the panels were switched, the, the scaffolding was put it up. Maybe if I put the next slides, it's, uh, yeah, like I was funny, it was funny to have another, <laughs> another, donut building that uh, that needs some uh, scaffolding but you can see that when you have a scaffolding without any screen it's absolutely <laughs> a problem uh, and uh, and it's obviously a recurrent thing especially with all the monuments that you know almost they always have a part of them you know every cathedral uh, antique monument there's always an, always like a part of it that a monument and Lately, like a lot of them having been having like uh, like this 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 screen. This also this idea of the ruins will come back uh, uh, later. But if you see the next slide, yeah. So that's kind of like was like uh, I don't know when they started to do that um, over the last 15 years or 20 years. Like uh, some companies came up with this great idea of like printing those big uh, screen that basically will in those kind of ways just basically gimmick the facade, especially, I mean, I, I lived in Brussels for, uh, for a few years and the, the Grand Place, which is a beautiful uh, square with beautiful facades was restored and they really printed a lot of, I mean, there was, I think, three or four of them they were restored for years. And uh, there was an amazing, especially in photos, to be honest, like when people, tourists will come, there will be like, you know, of course you, you can see, but you can see how efficient the, uh, the hiding of the scaffolding uh, uh, was w is efficient on on that picture, and I think uh, that was, I guess, the, the the premise of the idea is like, okay, let's hide the uh, the, the, the the scaffolding, uh, and all from there, and the old, the whole idea of hiding also was was a big part of the of the project. So now let's go to the next slide. <laughs> what is this? So I'm gonna like go through a little bit of the of the process that. Um, lead me like so when I started to think about it like what came up pretty quickly was the idea of the river uh, Washington being a, a very river city but also like the history of the the country itself uh, is uh, very connected to river and water and kind of path and like how people came in uh, people went out uh, and all the, the good and bad thing that happened around uh, rivers and trades and, and territory and, and, and so on uh, and Washington is a kind of a, a very important, the w water and the rivers around here are obviously very uh, important. And so I, I was actually like very enthusiastic about the idea, but as we, I think most artists know, an idea never makes <laughs> a good or a bad artwork. It doesn't do almost anything. Uh, you, it's only when you start to do something, visual art is a visual art. It's, you have to, you know, see the image to see if it's working or not. You can't just say, oh, I have an idea for a painting, and then the, you don't even need to do the painting, it will be done. It's, you know, how many of us have, like, great idea for a TV show or a movie, but, you know, it doesn't, doesn't go very far, or, like, novels or, or, or so on. So my idea of the water, I was very confident, but uh, as soon as I started to draw, I realized it will, it will, it will not work. And in the same time, uh, I wanted to work in the idea of the, of the ruins. So I started to do, because obviously the intimate relationship with the 
antique architecture really well displayed here. Uh, I was like thinking about and saying today that it's the only place in the West that you can see how it felt to be like in ancient Rome or ancient Greece, more or less, if, except for the colors. Um, and, uh, and it is kind of, uh, kind of an amazing feeling to be like, oh, so that's how it looked <laughs> to be in Rome, you know, 2,000 years ago. And uh, so the idea of the runes came, came, of course, because of the nature of transition and the idea of, of all those powerful objects that are, you know, as any empire are doomed to be ruined at some point. Uh, so like the next slide uh, is like the, 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 the kind of the big trend that's kind of started more or less in the Renaissance where, you know, like in those Italian cities, of course, runes were still, they're still now, obviously everywhere. And it starts to become a motif uh, that is obviously, that's a Piranes uh, etching um, that is kind of, um, uh, represents, of course, the idea of transition, the idea of rebirth, the idea of nostalgia, the idea of like ephemerality and, and so on. And so I was actually, while I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, this is perfect for Washington. And of course, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, what's happening with the building itself. I was like, oh, the building is becoming a ruins right now. So, you know, I was like very like confident. I was like, oh, this is gonna really work out. As you probably all know, guess that didn't work out because it's not what it is. <laughs> so the next slides, I, start, I went pretty far with that. I think I gave a proposal with the runes to uh, the, the, the curatorial team here. And uh, I don't know what they thought actually. <laughs> because, and uh, b b that here you see a collage of different runes. And my idea was to basically create like a big panorama of, of runes. We actually ordered the panels. I was like, I was going, to, I was pretty confident. And I started to, when I saw that actually, of course it's not my painting, so that's why it looked great. And, uh, and I was like, oh, that, that could look very good. And, uh, but then I did my own version, which was this. And, um, and, as so and like, I was like, as soon as I started, I was like, oh, something is not working. And actually, like, and I actually, I did one with colors. I did one that was like more blues. And I think if we go to the next slides, yeah, I did like, that's my beautiful model. That's why I showed the Ershon model, because my model is slightly uh, less <laughs> impressive. And uh, like that, that, that was, um, and again, I was really trying to push in my head that, okay, visually I felt, basically my idea was like, oh, that's, I was making a, I don't have any mock-up here, but I was like uh, putting that also with this, the surrounding of the, of the Urshorn. And, uh, and it was never really working visually. I felt it would be confused and you will not get what's, what's going on. It will be too not identifiable in a way. And I always thought that this project has to be like, you get it like straight away because it's so busy around, there's so much things going on. You need to get maybe a complex idea, but you need to get it like you get an advertisement. Basically you need to like, okay, there's like, I mean now face and curtains and even the themes are like, they're, they're right there. They're not like here, I was like, oh, this is not probably gonna happen. With the river, it was even more complicated. So, but what's, what's, what's interesting, it's, it's what's happening is that of course, you know, you always work on very different projects and I was working on different shows and I think the next slide is, yeah, I was working in this show in, in Hanover in Germany and that's just, uh, I was making this huge cave, painted cave, also another big site specific painted and I think if you go to the next uh, slides, uh, you, see, you see how like the model and the real, the real thing is pretty close. <laughs> and uh, and so basically this project was there was this room and and there was another room with like nine portraits if you go to the next slides yeah here you there was basically this room next to it and if you go to the next slide yeah here you go there was those nine portrait of Marl and Dietrich that I was working on exactly at the same time and because I was working on the runes you see the one right there I basically added that, uh, that, and I was, that's kind of, that's the first one that is from this old series. It started this old, and it completely, I call it like, um, well, like sometimes I talk in terms of when you make paintings or art or project, you have all this set of problems, and sometimes you really feel like you unlocked a door or a problem, and it's kind of solved. And that's Rune's old research that was definitely in my, like, I felt, okay, this thing is dying, and I was very stressed out because I already gave like, the proposal and I knew it was not working, so I thought I need to start from scratch. But at the same time, all my problem for this show, <laughs> in this, it, was, it was being unlocked. I did this one, I was like, oh, it's working great, and 
I, I need to do different, basically, portrait of, of Marlene Dietrich with basically her bodies will be made out of different uh, paintings. And uh, one of the, if you go to the next slides, yeah, so that's kind of a ruin of Berkeley and the, 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 the portrait that was basically happened because I was working on the Urshorn. And the next slide is, yeah, that's actually another show that I was working in the same time and see how are we using my, are recycling the bad, what, what bad, what some, the bad things that was happening at the Urshorn was feeding great ideas for the other projects. But still, I was, because I knew that, of course, the Urshorn, I couldn't really fail. Like, if it was bad, there will be kind of a disaster. <laughs> it would be like, and, you know, the pressure was, you know, it had to be done. Like, you can't just feel, oh, sorry. Like, let's say in a gallery show, you can always, like, you know, like, uh, postpone it or, like, or a painting, if it's not good, where it doesn't matter. You don't show it or you just show it on a corner or, like, you make it small or something. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, like, that was, I reused the, yeah, the runes on this show uh, in, uh, in Lugano during that time. And if we go... That was all the same year. So that's the, the series of, um, the, the, there was nine, of the Marlene Dietrich. But the one on the top left uh, is the one that uh, unlocked my problem. <laughs> uh, so I was doing that, for all this all happening at the same time. So if we go to the next uh, slide. Yeah, that's just to show like if we, um, uh, Marlene Dietrich had like, you know, like a, a, a painting that was making her Torso, and that's uh, like a, a Otto Dix uh, a painting that um, that is making uh, her body. And if you go to the next one, one of them was this one. Uh, and this one, um, I was basically I wanted to make her body made out of those different kind of uh, 1600s kind of Dutch. Uh, uh, painting and one of them is this the 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 Vermeer the Gary Dude and Adrian van der Spelt See, I still don't know the name completely uh, well uh, and uh, and when I did that painting uh, when I, I, I actually did, I, I really li like the painting and I was like oh something is going on with those first of all I really like doing the curtains it was like, oh looking and I was like oh something is is there and uh, I think like that uh, again. The, I think it's interesting to um, to think about like a, a practice as really, a, a really like a, a compilation of very different layers, li 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 a lot of different information. That's why I'm always keen to accept as much project as possible because usually they really feed one one another. And uh, like sometimes I feel like oh, if I just like do the Urshon, nothing else for two years, I will do the best project possible. But it's Apparently, anyway, <laughs> it seems like it's actually adding a lot of projects in the same year, being a little bit like, why I'm doing all those big projects on top of each other, but somehow they really like help tremendously uh, uh, each other. And so like that's, that's uh, so this, the, the, the next slide is, oh yeah, that's interesting. It's like my, so that's my Photoshop file where I'm like trying to resolve my big problem. Because at that point, I don't know what it is exactly in terms of the timetable, the schedule, but is we getting pretty close to being like, okay, you need to start to, because again, the Bruin, the Bruin kind of project, I gave a proposal that was like, and I don't exactly remember what was happening, but it was like, that, okay, like I need to move forward to make the final, you know, then we need to do tests, I need to do all the photos and everything before it's obviously printed and put it up because the schedule was decided far in advance. Uh, and so here it's an interesting kind of uh, file of, it's really, really the transition <laughs> of like me kind of like starting to put the curtains, there's still the runes, but you can, it's, it's really kind of actually an insight of what's happening in, the, in that moment. And, uh, and I guess the next slide, or the next slide is like, um, all the curtains that uh, are used in the uh, in in for this 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 project, so there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine in in, in total, and they're mostly, you know, like 1600s. But there is a Magritte one that is the most recent one, and there's the Fragonard that is like a, a 1700s. Uh, but they're all basically classic kind of um, kind of. Painting, I mean, classic doesn't mean much, but it's uh, what I think. Like I, f I put it, like if you go down, yeah, I put it the the Vermeer here because to 
emphasize a very, I mean, it's, again, that's why I love the theme because it was the, the, um, the theme and the ideas behind the curtains was, were very obvious. Like what, you know, a curtain is, to, is here to hide and or to when you put it, you know, on and off, it's to hide and to reveal and there's an idea of like secrecy and intimacy and, and it was suddenly it was obviously the hiding was very like <laughs> very obvious with what was the commission I was commissioned to hide the scaffolding so what better than curtains they're literally made for that to hide the, the, the lights or whatever happens behind the curtains uh, but of course there was the, the theatricality of it and I think here there's like a, uh, I think a good example because it's you obviously have this very intimate private uh, scene that you see that uh, that young lady reading reading a letter and you completely feel that you are kind of spying or you're not supposed really to be here but the painter removed the curtain for you to basically make you uh, access to her like private uh, kind of moment you don't it's up to you to decide if it's a, a love letter or if it's uh, something completely different uh, a new job that she got or like uh, <laughs> or the opposite fired <laughs> like something uh, but it's it's the, the I mean it's obviously a great painting and I think the, the, the again like the the, the the feeling is right there and the idea of the curtains is uh, is, is very, very, very kind of obvious and, and powerful. Uh, so what, what happened next in the process um, is I think very quickly, if you go to the next slide, what I did, I did those, which is already very close to what will happen next. Like it's really, that is really the moment that is unlocked. And when I did that, I was like, okay, I think that's it. I've, I've, I kind of found what I believe anyway, it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to work for the, 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 the final project. And it's, I guess like if, if you have to kind of, uh, yeah, uh, kind of explain the feeling of, the, of a process like that, it's like you really need to really find the moment when you, you because you get asked, so what, you need to figure out this problem and you need to feel at some point, okay, this is the, the problem has been resolved and I'm confident that it will work. Of course, sometimes it doesn't, but like, <laughs> like you have, you basically get asked because you, you have to trust yourself to f find the solutions. And when I did that, so basically this is all the, the, the original curtains that are from the, the, all those, those nine paintings. And it's basically a series of portraits that are just transformed into black and white. I actually never tried to, to put them in colors uh, because visually I, I thought it was way too complicated with the, the, um, the curtains. But also I really like the idea of having like this kind of idea of a stone sculpture. Uh, maybe like as a reminder of, of course, all the sculptures around, uh, but also about the, the, the grayish of the building and actually all the building of Washington that are mo mostly like gray, white uh, in those shades of, of, of grays. But you really have like, uh, at that point, basically what's happening is like, oh, I just need to realize the, uh, the, the artwork. So what will happen is that if we go to the next slide, oh, I guess that the next slide is, um, you'll go there. So that's again my beautiful uh, model. <laughs> no, you can stay on on the on this one. So like when I did that, uh, and actually, yeah, maybe if you go down again, I'm, I'm uh, mock up on the yeah on the, on this uh, beautiful <laughs> model. That that's obviously not my model. Um, and uh, so like when I did that, I realized that it's definitely kind of visually probably going to work. I have to say, of course, it's very stressful because it, there's no way to know until it's installed. But, you know, you have to, <laughs> it's kind of, uh, I guess you, when you do a project like that, you kind of have to maybe like uh, believe that if it's a failure, I guess it's, you know, it's just a screen in the building. So it's not like, it's not the engineer that designed the building. If it's a failure, that's a much bigger problem. <laughs> you know, artists are not like surgeons or they are engineers. Like if there's a, if they do a big mistake, it's, at, you know, they're not a big deal. Like it's just people, oh, I was bad, I guess. But because uh, it's, it's, I mean, I don't, it's very rare that I do a project like that that are so visible, but it was, as I said, for a year and a half, it was definitely like uh, the, the, probably the most stressful kind of project because I was, again, very aware of the current, you know, situation of the mall, the, the, the political and uh, social climate, and I was like, I need to do something that somehow is fitting with all those different moving parts uh, and all the different energy that are in, in that specific area, which is <laughs> not that easy. Uh, so anyway, that's the um, little bit of the mock-up, and then I think, like, what's happening is the, yeah, I did another one. 
And as, I, I like those rendering, it's the same with the cave. It's like uh, you really see that this, with the rendering that is done fairly quickly, like you, it looks very similar than what is up right now. It uh, doesn't mean that at that point work is not even started in a way in terms of actually making the work, but uh, the, 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 the visual part of it is kind of uh, uh, right there, I guess. Is the, um, and then um, the next slide is, here we go, starting. <laughs> and so I started basically to, and it's, this one is an interesting photo that I found during the slideshow that uh, you see how in the studio, uh, how like the projects are connected because you see on the right my old uh, runes kind of uh, sketch that actually I threw away at the end. I didn't keep it. I just like can actually put it in the trash. <laughs> and uh, and on the uh, on the right side you see the Marlene Dietrich kind of uh, series that was probably still some of them were still being done. It looks like it anyway. Uh, that's all this collages and, 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 and sketches. So I'm basically starting the, this big kind of series of the nine curtains and more or less nine uh, portraits faces. I think if we go to see the, um, the uh, next slides, which is, looks like it's more or less at the end of, the, uh, of, of, of that process. So that's what was done to um, to basically make the, the, the design. So there's all the portraits, all the, the curtains, uh, and then basically we will photograph them and I will do the, uh, the, the collage, if you want, in, uh, on Photoshop. And, uh, and it's, it is like, it was a very kind of uh, fun moment because it's obviously like, that's, that part is a little bit more relaxing for me, like just, you know, I have like more, not more fun, but it's, uh, you know, like it's you in your studio and you're working on your painting and it's you more in a groove that is less stressful than finding the, uh, the, the unlocking part is a little bit stressful <laughs> because you never know when it's going to come. Like you just wait kind of a little bit every day and you're like, okay, it's not coming now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the runes are still up <laughs> it's, and it's not working. And, uh, and so that, that part I was like, it was kind of quite, quite, quite a lot of fun. And, uh, and then the next, um, Slides is just all the portraits kind of together. It's actually kind of fun to see because uh, some of them you only see like a very tiny part of them. Uh, and uh, this, the curtains obviously repeated, but like if you go down, this is all the curtains that, uh, that uh, were painted for, for, for it. And then what's the next one is yeah, so then, like, what, what, what you see here is basically, like, the, um, in one, I mean, you just connect the, the, you know, the two parts there. That's basically the, uh, what will be kind of uh, printed. So that, that's the collage of all the, uh, the curtains with all the, the faces. Yeah, you can see some of the faces you, so if you want, and if I only painted the eye, no, I painted the entire portrait and only kept, the <laughs> it, was, it was hidden. But also maybe now you know that there was nothing uh, really secretive <laughs> behind those, uh, those curtains, not, nothing like a, a scar or something that was uh, hidden, <laughs> like kind of normal, normal faces. But, uh, and um, yeah, so that was like, at that, I think at that point, uh, you know, in the, in the process, we all basically agreed, okay, that's good to go. I think we did, uh, I don't think we have a test here, but like a photo here, but we did obviously some tests uh, of the, 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 the fabric. And after like the, uh, the next slide is the install. So you, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a very cool photo to see because you can see the, uh, the scaffolding by itself, if there was no, um, uh, no screen, it will be obviously a very different, not I'm advocati advocating and advertising my own work, but <laughs> it's, it was, I think it was, it was a, a, a great idea to, uh, to, um, to commission an artist. Sounds like I'm like <laughs> creating myself, but uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was, it was really uh, great because it's true, those, as we've seen in the, uh, in the Coliseum in, in Rome, it looks a little bit kind of, uh, a little bit crazy. It looks like, things are about to fall apart. I think hiding a scaffolding is also hiding the problems. Uh, that's, and I think like because of that, nobody is really asking, like, I think most people will think, oh, that's just, I guess it's a, it's a project. They don't know that the building is falling apart and we have to go. <laughs> Melissa is like, no, no, no. <laughs> no but it, it is a funny thing that it, when it was conceived, you know, like the, it, it was known that those panels will have to be changed 70 years later. It's kind of, 
talking about like uh, you know like a program obsolete that's it's kind of funny that an architect or engineer will plan a material that is not going to stay for 70 years it's kind of uh, it's inter I, f I find it very interesting because if you think about like a lot of the stone age of architecture the idea was like oh we're building something that is going to stay basically forever it was like a pyramid you know like a marble temple like it was like oh n our civilization will never go away like i guess here it's 70 years <laughs> then i guess the, the empire will go down <laughs> uh but it's i find it kind of modern architecture is full of those little kind of things uh so yeah if we go to the next uh yeah so like the the uh the um, just a bit of the technical it's basically made of all those st stripes uh those like long printed stripes and then they kind of assembled all together to create i mean it's extremely impressive how it was done because this, you don't see the seams there's even a tape you can see those white board on the on the side that is basically like the the, the kind of the, the the metal board it was like a tape that will go on it that was exactly like uh it was ex it, it is extremely well done and i'm, I'm very like uh i mean everybody here i think is grateful for you know like the the, the, the work that's been up I mean, in every stage of this insane, uh, <laughs> the important part is behind the scene, obviously, but uh, it is even more, more impressive. But uh, you can see how it was done. I think it was like that for a month or two, maybe, like the, when they were like uh, uh, installing it. Um, and then uh, I think uh, we have uh, the dramatic picture after that. <laughs> uh, then it was like uh, installed. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I came, I guess, uh, to sit and it was it was really uh, I mean it's still very um, kind of I don't really find the word but it's uh, it's a very yeah very special very unique for me to sit that I, it's I still can't really believe I'm always I'm a little bit like back and forth and being like I don't want to really be like oh that didn't do that because it's so you know overwhelming here overwhelming like oh I'm here I'm here uh, that is a little bit like a little bit a little bit intimidating but uh, it's also like of course like a super uh, you know, cool project that, uh, and again, I think like all the, um, it's called draw the curtains and all the, uh, I don't know, I mean, everybody like obviously like go, there's most people that uh, will see it are not like here to, to, you know, see art or whatever. They're like either tourists or working people, you know, like, and, uh, and I think like I, w I really wanted to find like, um, again, a motif and a design that will, kind of evoke a lot of like theme that could be perceived in such a you know like uh, complex environment that is it is washington and what washington and the u.s and this particular place represents uh, for many people and uh, i was i mean not saying that i did resolve that of course not but uh, the idea was to create like i mean again the idea of the hiding was very important there was like hiding of the work side but there was the whole idea of like what's happening uh, you know those buildings that feels like so unpenetrable you know like it's all those where everything is you know happening and you can't get in and it's like police everywhere like fences uh so there was like you know this idea of those kind of faces that uh sneak in or out like uh, of of trying to tell you something or give you like a, a feeling of of this the back and forth with you know like uh, w what is this the 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 energy of such a, a city that's if we go to the next slide, I think it's just like a few, um, few other yeah, picture. Like it's like, uh, and uh, but also like of course like the the use of the curtains. Uh, like I think we, I mean, it's maybe not that direct, but I think it's it's I think you can feel if you not necessarily like an arts kind of you know like oh that's definitely a Vermeer or like a, a Magritte's kind of. Uh, Curtains, but I think the the, the um, I think a, a genuine feeling will be like they look like paint. They look painting. They look painted representation of curtains. So they they obviously have a clear connection with art. Like they don't you know if it was like a photo, really a photo uh, kind of collage. I think it will be a completely different feeling. The faces uh, have some sort of uh, of kind of anon anonymous and some sort of idea that they kind of uh of course they, they are not like you know like uh are, can be everybody that's that, that that's that's not what they are uh but they, they have an idea of like some kind of uh, generic kind of idea of of, of people in, in uh, and um so that was kind of uh, all those aspects that i really wanted to uh 
to 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 kind of project in the in the in the in the, in the work. And I think the the last slide is probably just another. Oh yeah, it's at night. Yeah, I, I was like uh, maybe like. That's something that I didn't really know be when I did the work, but of course you have this great walk that you can you can really go around the entire thing, and sometimes you're very close, and they they have obviously those beautiful uh, trees and plants, and uh, and I thought that was definitely like a a feel more kind of uh, feeling in 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 those area that is obviously fitting very well with Washington and some kind of a spy kind of feeling you know, like. Uh, that I, you know, that I thought was very like also like fitting for the for, for the energy of the of the city, and that that was kind of a surprise because I, I didn't really realize they will play quite well with this, you know, this idea of like all those different um, layers of hiding and revealing with the the trees that they act like a little bit like uh, like what the fabric and the curtains are doing, and those faces are really kind of like looking at us with uh, a lot of uh, questions about what's going on. Um, and I think the last, so the last picture is, is, oh yeah, that's just another, oh yeah, with people biking around the tree. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's kind of, uh, that's kind of a little bit of the, uh, the story of this uh, project that I hope was uh, a little bit uh, informing about uh, what, what is kind of beyond, uh, behind like um, such a, uh, an adventure that is like kind of very uh, unique, obviously, uh, for, for me, but for everybody that was involved. Uh, but uh, I think what I wanted to really kind of um, highlight is that the facts, and you see in the presentation, that a project is really dependent on other <laughs> projects in an artist process. Very often it's all very organic until you find. Because now like, I feel like when I see this, I feel like, oh, there was nothing else that I should do it than those curtains and those faces. That's just so perfectly like... You know, like another you know, link when I saw it, it like the, 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 those like printed screen obviously moves like fabric. And they do like another type of like basically creases and stuff, and, and that didn't really know obviously when I did it, but it, it's suddenly like feel it fit fitted so well with the curtains because it, the, the the actual printing material feels like a curtain itself. Uh, but but the but the idea didn't come from that project. So that I mean the idea like the the, the first impulse uh, was not that, and the runes like that that came from for that project in my. Uh, badly idea uh, kind of <laughs> bad idea kind of con con conception went to other projects and, and and I think it's as a as an artist but probably as, as everybody it's always something that is very important to be connected to that's you know if you if you never think that your idea is going to lead like to a great project it's like you always have to be I think like aware that things can change or someone can tell you like what about this and then it's great it's kind of that you need to basically have all your energy in in in, uh, in the service of the of of of, of the project, um, but uh, yeah, I think it's staying for six years now because this whole thing is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's going to be also great to sit back. Like uh, you know, I think they're putting those very beautiful like uh, green marble now. It's not going <laughs> to and gold. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what I want to say about the project. <laughs> I think we open for questions, if anybody has questions. <laughs> Thank you so much. I see you. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, that's a good, uh, <laughs> well, probably, like, you will probably hate the uh, the fact that uh, there's images on the screen, obviously. It will be like, you don't need the images, just wrap it up, and that will be enough. Because <laughs> he was obviously not a very symbolic image. I love symbols in images, and I kind of trust them and, and love them. Uh, you know, like, I was, we talk about the curtains and what the curtains can evoke uh, in people's mind, and uh, you know, and I guess uh, Cristo will probably be like not. In, I mean, I don't. I never met him, and, uh, and uh, but I like. I, and I was very sad that I missed the Paris one because uh, it looked and and a lot of people like uh, made a little bit of like oh like because of the wrapping, uh, even of the work obviously uh, from very different kind of line of of, of artistry. But uh, the 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 Arc de Triomphe in Paris looked like 
phenomenal, and I thought it was really uh, an amazing, um, an amazing work. And but I, I, I can't really claim a direct inspiration because the idea of the wrapping is that was not that was not mine. That was <laughs> literally the commission. So, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, it will definitely uh, wrap it. Just, just wrap it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I mean actually the, the, the contract with the actual company that will do it came quite late but it was always, um, we knew that there will be a company that basically does print screens to hide scaffolding which you know there's not that many but there's few <laughs> and, uh, and basically like that was not I was not involved in that I was like more uh, and then for example the, even the stripes came quite late but I always thought it will obviously not one screen it would be like made out of parts uh, but s s looking at other screens that they did or that I've you know looking in different places I knew that basically you could have a very good uh, uh, effect from far away actually the mesh of the screen is actually pretty big and you can see through it pretty easily but it's so gigantic that you know it's like when they do the bus ad you can see through the window but from far away you like you only see the images but we obviously had like samples and 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 but we 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 had like samples you know like that size and to be honest it was just like impossible to know there was literally a piece of like fabric and it was like you realize how big, I mean, it's really big. <laughs> and uh, so it was, it was kind of uh, more trusting the process, but I was, I was not really, I was just trusting the company that will, will do that from their previous work. And uh, Marlin, oh Marlin, it, it's an, an entire, di oops, an entire different, uh, an entire new kind of, uh <laughs> but in two words, it was, um, I mean, I was, I was just fascinated about uh, her, very sculptural androgenic kind of face and her role in uh, in cinema and how like you know how the the the, uh, the kind of s s um, place she she has by you know starting her career in uh, in Berlin and then coming in the U.S. and uh, and uh, there was basic I wanted to kind of create some sort of um, a series of work that reflected different. Uh, impression that I had that I had on 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 her you know career and her work by connecting her to different artwork that each artwork will reveal like a different from all the runes but that was all like kind of and we don't gonna go too far there but it was all my little mind working out of it's like a you know like a a, a poetic association but that w when I was putting the runes of Berkeley uh, on with her I was like of course thinking about you know like her crucial moment in European history, same with the auto uh, that is, you know, that, um, so there was like all those different things that I was trying to connect with her particular history, her movies, uh, and her face that uh, is so iconic, and I mean, she's, she's, she's great, and because I never do actually like portrait like that, I almost, and that's kind of the only series that I did uh, for this show in, in Germany, and I don't see really um, more coming that like but that was kind of the uh, the story a little bit yes no no that was a joke that was joking or is it? no 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 i think it was supposed to be already out like to the full <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the idea was to, uh, and we're working on it, but the, the, uh, one of the ideas in the, in the start was to do a little bit of the Freitag, you know, the Swiss company that uh, use old kind of tarps and everything to do bags. So that's something that we're working on to basically like, uh, I mean, it's a lot of fabric, but uh, to basically trying to recycle it and to reuse it, uh, we're trying to find a solution, but the fabric is quite particular, but uh, to basically do bags that could be sold here, there will be a very cool, like, uh, you know, gifts, like, I mean, gift, uh, gift shop 
item uh, that will be yeah that will be kind of uh, so everybody has a part it's like a little bit of the Berlin Wall <laughs> a part of uh, <laughs> I mean Christo always we used his uh, you know people sort of like what he's doing is all this like he was very very aware and he was like he never he always reused and made, you know give that to the to people to reuse them uh, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll do that but it's not like a that simple and that's not costly, so <laughs> we'll we'll see. But that's that, that's that's the idea, and I really hope we will will do it. Oh, yeah, it's very simple. <laughs> it's it's painted over. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, so like it depends on those type of murals. What I love about them is that uh, uh, like they're, they're just painted over. So you don't, need, you don't even need to sand them anyway, like maybe a little bit for the, some of the edge. But what I like about it is like basically they're still here. Like if you just paint over, they, they're just literally covered with a tiny, you know, uh, thin layer of paints. But so I can always say that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at the museum of different places that uh, <laughs> like, and, and sometimes murals I can, you know, I will see like a corner here and there that it was like still a bit of, uh, in, the, in the big cave in, in Germany, I'm sure you can find probably like a few, uh, few spots. But uh, the, the ephemeral part of the work uh, is a, is something that I always loved, uh, you know, like um, doing, and it's 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 uh, it's actually allowed me to be much more sometimes, you know. Actually, even this is it's it's a little bit of a, when you do a painting that the, you have this relationship with like history and being like, okay, a painting is going to be kept for like ever and everything. It's a little bit sometimes like a little bit like haunting and you're like, well, you know, I don't know. And, and of course, sometimes you do a painting and five years later you think it's terrible and you're like, oh my God, I wish it was painted over. But you can't because you don't have it anymore, whatever. And uh, with the murals, I always thought it was great to know that you do something in, in a few weeks and then it stays for another few months, a few weeks. Uh, I mean, I did like, not that often, but I did murals for art fair like, and it literally stays for three days. So it's like literally like, and I always like um, talk about my decade doing street arts and uh, and basically the all um, kind of energy and idea was more doing, the doing was more important than the uh, the result as you can probably often see. It's not that kind of, uh, because the, uh, the, 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 it was more like almost like a performance type thing and it was, it's doing it. Then, you know, like in gra when you do trains, literally you take a photo at night because sometimes the next mo the morning before the train goes, they have they manage to either stop the train or clean it, and you will never see it again. It's it's it can be very fast, uh, and I guess like doing that for so long, it really probably like trained me to be like, oh, that's great. I, it doesn't 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 matter, and and um, and I, I got really like, actually I enjoy it now. I, I really like uh, and and the um, I also often talk about the. Uh, performance, performing perform, perform, doing murals, like when I come here, and this one was very particular actually, and it was a little bit dangerous, but like I came here with very little plan to do the, the sunset sunrise, and it was the first time that I was using oil on the wall, uh, and, and it, it, it was an, it had an amazing journey doing all those paintings on the wall, because this, I did a few tests at the studio, but I was doing the sketch like on the day and doing them on the wall, and of course in the first five days, it went completely wrong. It was a disaster. And, uh, and you know, it's not like, not by myself in my studio, there's people coming, like, and they say, oh, what's going on? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I guess it's in progress. <laughs> and there was like, at some point, the paint was not drying, and I was like, I was calling a friend, like, how do I make the paint dry? Like, it needs to be done in three weeks. And, uh, but that's like, you know, like it's, you talk about, you know, like when you also, when you do a painting, the, if you don't have any struggle to do anything, it's the reward is obviously like, you know, it's like a tennis match. If it's in five sets, it's much more enjoyable, I think for the players too, um, than if it's like in three sets and like, you know, every, every easy. So it's, it is like uh, the, the improvising and being on the site is a big part of, uh, of the mural and just being there. Again, I was here for three weeks, you know, uh, just two months after, uh, the the election, so it was it was a very interesting uh, <laughs> time to be here. <laughs> yes, can you share with us the thing you're currently looking at or new projects you have coming up? 
yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, what I can talk about? Well, I think like uh, what I've been working on lately, uh, they have this show now in Milan at this museum called the Paul di P Pezzoli. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a very new project, like a new type of work is those painted painting on, uh, on copper. Uh, and they're made of those little triptych cabinets. And I've been like painting uh, on copper for like you know a year now, and they're very you'll s we'll see maybe one day or whatever. It, like it's they're kind of the opposites of those big mural of this. They're like literally like that size, or even like that size. They're very very small and they're very detailed and very. Uh, and I've been having a really a great time um, uh, painting those. Uh, so uh, like for the, for different projects that I've been uh, working on that comes in the uh, in the next. A uh, few years. Uh, that's something kind of, uh, kind of, uh, kind of new. But I have a show in in uh, Hong Kong in two weeks uh, uh, that I will not be able to go uh, at uh, House of Rivers Gallery with a, a series of new pastel that uh, and there's actually a new series that I've been working on that is called the Red Forest that are quite also different uh, than, uh, than uh, I mean different. Sometimes artists, it's very different, they're like, no, it's not. <laughs> but <laughs> it's like, don't like fool yourself that you're making big, big changes. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, that's, and this, uh, at the moment, I have this sh uh, show in Montreal uh, until October in, uh, in the Musée des Beaux-Arts, uh, the Mont 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 I speak French, so I can, I don't, I don't like it. I can do the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal with a perfect French accent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's, that's up right now. And it's, 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 uh, it's, an, it's a project that was very, very uh, exciting because it was, it's a fairly kind of large uh, group of spaces. And I was uh, allowed to, I mean, that was asked actually by Stefan, of course. We didn't speak. Stefan Akin, which was a, a curator here that invited me to be really a big part of those, those, those projects. And the first one, uh, that invited me in his, his museum to basically do a show of the painting of the collection and mixing with me and murals and that's been like really an, an amazing project and believe it or not the uh, the uh, believe it or not, the uh, the Otto Dix painting that is this portrait of uh, of Hugo Simmons the uh, the Otto Dix lawyer that is that uh, that actually the the this red portrait that you saw in the slideshow is in, in Montreal. It was actually um, the lawyer that had it back in the days flew uh, flee to, to Montreal during the war and he ended up in the, in the museum. It's a long story, it's a great story actually, but I'm not gonna tell the old, but anyway, like I was able to basically uh, put that uh, um, auto Dix on top of uh, one of my uh, mural. It sounds like it'll be pretentious, but hopefully it doesn't look like it <laughs> to do those kind of things. Uh, but when I did the Marlene Dietrich with the Autodix, I didn't know that I will have a show there. And when it's, it's those kind of things. And the Marlene Dietrich portrait of the Autodix now is next to this, uh, this, this uh, portrait in Montreal. And that was, uh, yeah, that's been like also like one of those very uh, great gifts from, from life to be able to do those, uh, those projects. Uh, I feel, yeah, very, very grateful. But um, yeah, there's, 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 there's definitely a few things coming up that uh, hopefully you will, <laughs> you will see. <laughs> Not short of projects. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs>